This video is all about torque to yield fasteners or TTY fasteners. Specifically why you need to know about them if you like to work on your own vehicle. Alright, so what exactly is a torque to yield fastener? A torque to yield fastener is a fastener that actually stretches to keep the clamping force on the joint. Unlike conventional bolts, torque to yield bolts are tightened beyond their elastic limit to the yield point. The automotive industry is designing more connections this way because it applies more consistent clamping force over a longer period of time. When connections are designed to use torque to yield fasteners, more clamping force can be exerted with smaller diameter fasteners. The first torque to yield fasteners were used in engine head bolts because they required less torque and the torque applied was more evenly distributed. This resulted in even clamping forces on the head gasket and less distortion in the block and head. After these fasteners found success with engine head bolts, they then found their way into vehicle suspension components and subframes. Vehicles on the road today have these fasteners everywhere and you are likely to run into them anytime you take something apart. In the world of automotive engineering, here's what you need to know. A fastener's yield strength is the amount of stress it can withstand before permanent deformation. This means before the yield point, your fastener will snap back to its original size. After the yield point, your fastener is permanently deformed and will be longer than it was before you installed it. If you keep tightening the fastener, eventually it'll fracture. Here's some areas to look for torque to yield fasteners on your vehicle. The engine will have a number of different torque to yield fasteners, subframes, suspension components, control arms, sway bars, engine mounts, transmission mounts, steering rack mounts, the tie rods, steering column mounts, brake caliper adapter bolts, brake booster bolts, transmission casings, differential covers. Oh God! Oh. It's not even that bad. Oh God, I just got some. <laughs> drive shafts, axle components, exhaust manifold, catalytic converters, seat belt anchors, the seat systems, and even structural components within the body and shell. More content coming to my channel soon. Can I reuse my torque to yield fastener? Well, because there is no way of knowing if the fastener has stayed within its elastic limit, it is best to replace these fasteners anytime they're removed. Torque to yield fasteners in my vehicle's service information have a note that looks like this. It's always a good idea to refer to your vehicle's service information when reusing a fastener. Also, use the appropriate torque specs. 